Hi guys, welcome to this unboxing video of the Arduino Uno R3 board. And this is a genuine Arduino board, not a clone and certainly not a counterfeit. So we've just zoomed in. This is the box in question. It's Arduino Uno R3 board with the genuine logo. Serial number 840066. Little barcode on the side. Arduino Uno R3 board. And let's look at the specifications. I know it's, it's green on green, but uh, try to bear with us for a moment. Okay, it's an AT Mega 328P chip. Not unlike the uh, clone boards that I've been using for my YouTube videos and other videos. Right, uh, memory, 32 kilobytes of flash, two kilobytes of SRAM, and one kilobyte of EEPROM. E -E -prom. Interfaces, it's got I2C, SPI, UART, USB. I'm just reading this all out. Voltages, the input from ranging from seven to 12 volt of input and overall five volt operating. The pinout, 20 digital pins, six uh, PWM. So I'm having trouble reading with my eyesight and uh, six analog ports, just like the clone boards. And the dimensions, if you want to get really technical, 68.6 by 53.4 millimeters. Wonderful. Okay, now let's, uh, should we start unboxing this thing? Oh yes, and of course, if you want to check that your board is the authentic article, all you need to do is look at the side. And that is the holographic sticker, which proves that this is the genuine Arduino board, which has been designed and assembled in Italy. Okay, again, this is an A quadruple zero six six. That is the code for the Arduino Uno R3 board. And all the other boards like the Mega, the Leonardo, all those other boards, including the Pro Portenta, which I'm planning to get in the future, will have its own code. All right, so without further ado, it does look like, like a deck of cards. Uh, well, at least the box, not what's inside. So anyway, I'm gonna zoom out, so just bear with me. Okay, now let's get ourselves a box cutter and let's get cracking. So let's, let's just uh, do this. So I've actually got two of these. This retailed, or this retails at 20 US dollars, which is the equivalent of Hong Kong $150. So it's not too bad, not too bad. So inside the box, let's take a look. You've got yourself some stickers, right? Arduino stickers, or should we take a look? They've got nice little stickers to stick on your boards or your, uh, your rigs or what, what have you. Open source, love open source. Hacked Arduino logos and another logo and DIY, which stands for do it yourself, which is what we do a lot with Arduino. It's so open and it's so much fun as well. Got this little, uh... thank you for choosing an Arduino board and supporting the community. So every dollar that you spend on these boards goes to the Arduino community, which is huge. So register.arduino.cc, the uh, website is arduino.cc. They do have a big community forum with lots of projects and so forth. And I've been there a few times. I don't go there that often these days, but uh, it's a really big forum and there's a lot to see, a lot to see. Okay, so there's a, yeah, a lot of uh, stuff about limited warranties, disclaimer of warranties, support services, unauthorized use, compliance with laws, and a lot of other things besides. Okay, let's uh, fold that back. We'll put that aside just for now and uh, put the stickers aside also, All right? And the box, let's take a look at the board. All right, let's put the cutter to the side. That is what the genuine board looks like. And what I'm gonna do, because of the fact it's green on green, I'm going to I'm gonna move that cutting board aside. Let's take a look at this. All right, let's zoom in a bit, guys, let's zoom in. So this is the genuine Arduino board. Noticeably green, I mean, literally green. The uh, clone boards that I'm used to are usually blue or teal, or uh, sometimes uh, you get them in black color as well. So we can open 
there's a plastic shell thing on the back. I think it's a protective shell of some sort. And we can uh, pull that out. And there is the board. Okay. Just put that aside just for now. Okay, we'll put that there. So that's the board. Okay, you've got your 14 digital pins at the top from zero to 13. All right, you'll notice that the uh, pin connectors, they are very well labeled. The clone boards usually don't have these labels. And this is all one unit of female pins. With the clone boards, you usually get two. You get one there and one there, and it does get very flimsy. This one feels very solid, very, very good, the quality. It's near pristine quality. No, in fact, I take it back, it is pristine. It, it looks really amazing. Okay, so admittedly, I've seen the back of this before. So Arduino Uno R3, and it's got a little slogan at the back, open source is love designed and assembled in Italy. That's great. All right, now let's put it into a computer and see how this fares. So we're going to connect our Arduino Uno R3 board to a computer. I am using Mac OS. Most of the videos that you get online are usually Windows computers, but I am very, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm kind of biased towards the Mac. Although I do use Windows as well, but in any case, Let's get started. So we have a USB type B cable, which we plug into the board. And uh, you might have to shove this in just a bit with a little bit of force, and then the light turns on. So you know that is powered. Okay, we know that's powered up. Now, if we could just, I've just angled it slightly. I, um, I have to use this, uh, I have to use this adapter because we are using USB type C ports and this doesn't have the conventional USB uh, port so we need to use that. So focus on that and focus on that. Okay, so we are going to use Arduino IDE. Okay, I'm just going to make the screen slightly brighter. Should I do that? Let's see. Maybe... All right, that'll do. Okay. Right, uh, sorry if you can't see what's on the screen, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the an example a piece of code, or a sketch as they call it. Let's see, ah yes, before we do that, first we need to, I'm just gonna zoom in actually. All right, let's go to tools, go to board, and we're going to choose the right Arduino board. This is Arduino Uno. Right now we're on the Node MCU, that's not Node MCU, make sure you choose the right board. And now, if we go to File, go to Examples, go to, let's see, is it Basics? Blink. Want to see that light on the board blink on and off. So just grab that piece of code. Right, so that's the code right there. Simplest of codes. So we want the built-in LED to be on for one second and off for another second. Let's upload that sketch to the board. So we go to Tools. I'm not using a mouse, I'm using the touchpad. Make sure you choose the right port, because I'm, I'm not using Windows, so it's not going to be COM4, COM3, COM2, or what have you. It's going to be this USB modem port, but it says Arduino Uno. So at least you know it's connected and it's the right board. Now, you go up to the top and press the Upload button and wait for that. It will say done uploading. Right, it will say done uploading. Now if you take a look at the board, it is flashing on and off. See that light? It's flashing on and off. Just for a bit of fun, let's make it a tenth of a second. So change the delay from 1000 to 100. Oh, excuse me. I'm still not, still not quite used to this. I'm so used to using a mouse, but okay. And let's upload that again. That should go on and off for a tenth of a second each time. And now it's flashing on and off. So much faster. And uh, similarly, if you wanted to, for people who don't wish to use Arduino IDE, you want to use something a little simpler, uh, you could go to mBlock. 
go to ide.mblock.cc, oh, excuse me, go to ide.mblock.cc, which is this one. And this is pretty much like Scratch, but you can use it with Arduino boards and all uh, different types of microcontrollers. We go to File and New, and take out the original device, go into Devices, click Add, You'll get this device library. You've got Arduino Uno. You can also add mega boards. You can also add Raspberry Pi and lots of different boards. Just a side note, uh, this claims to have support for ESP32 and 8266, but I, for the life of me, have never been able to get it to work. So that's still, still in development. Okay, let's double click the Arduino Uno, right? And if you want to connect your board to mBlock, just press the connect button at the bottom and choose to show all the connectable devices, USB modem port or COM, whatever the number happens to be, press connect. You know it's connected because it's got the link symbol here. Let's zoom out. So very simple, all you have to do, if you are familiar with Scratch 3.0 from MIT, it's very easy to do, very easy. All we have to do is use the block. What happens when Arduino Uno starts up? So we could just, uh, if you wanted the light on the board to blink, use the forever loop. So it's that one. And then simply go to pin. The digital pin for the onboard light is 13, as in one, three. Okay, the onboard pin is always 13. For other boards, it could be a different number, but it's usually 13. Okay, so right now we said set the pin 13 to high. That light is now permanently on. If we wanted to make that turn off, we would simply just go to low. Or what we could do is duplicate that and uh, make that high. No, let's make that low, make that high. We can also put a weight so instead of delay 1000, you put wait one second. It's far easier, especially for students. Then you simply just upload it. It's still connected, mind you. And that will flash accordingly. Right. Something else you can do as well, if you get yourself an LED, this is a blue LED. Ground is to the left, pin 13 is to the right. So Put that in there, and now that light is going to light up. So if the onboard pin turns up, uh, turns on, sorry, pin 13 will light up accordingly, just like that. Okay. All right, and of course, if you have an adapter, you can use the barrel wire connector, the female uh, connector there, plug in a battery, plug in an adapter, and it will power up. And whatever program you put in there, obviously it will load accordingly. All right, so there we have it, guys. That is the Arduino Uno R3 board from Arduino and made in Italy. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. And goodbye.